facing on the camera introducing area welcome to munich this looks more like the berliner brandenburg gate before i show you i'll just turn around my camera So we are at Ziga's tour. Let me just cross the road. Interesting spot here. Behind me is the Ziga's tour. Almost reminds me, like I said, of the Brandenburg tour. So yeah, it translated kind of like the winner's gate. So let me just show you. Either this is a new clip so let's get closer I'll just break a little bit of rules the light is red on the right side so just walk straight yep we make it actually I've been to Berlin but I've never walked at the Brandenburger gate like this I have to try that one day if I get to Berlin the Siegers gate it's also quite interesting Looks very attractive, but smaller. So, yeah, it goes pretty high. There are lions up there. Let me just walk a little bit. We make a little space. So, it's also a landmark. One of Munich landmark. Last time we walked past the cathedral. Now we see the the empirician hair the bavarian lord Herre, yeah lord so straight goes to downtown let's cross the road munich uh, is really an interesting city the capital of bavaria Well, this is more like a very cultural city when you're in Munich. So let's go up. Well, if you are in here in Bavaria, especially like here in Munich, in the entire Bavaria, Bavaria is the kind of like the most functioning state in Germany. Well, it's a little bit ahead of other federal states. So they have very strict rules, strict laws. They have their own laws very different compared to the other federal states of Germany as you saw like in Frankfurt when we walked past when we walked in the shady area Munich will, is clean compared to Frankfurt it wouldn't be yeah you wouldn't pass areas like that that it will give a city a reputation like like Frankfurt has as we saw Frankfurt has hidden places, good places and bad places, and skyscrapers. Well, the skyscrapers are the most visible ones. But once you exit a railway station, yeah, you just see the crappy part of Frankfurt immediately, in which you will get a bad impression. Kind of like if you visit someone and the apartment is not clean. Monumental things. I think we're in a 
certain part of town and this is where the most university students hang around I forgot the name something like um, let me think about it Max Vorstadt it's called yeah there is also a university here so that's why there's a lot going on the park is also not far from here nice buildings kind of half hip but kind of like in a rich way I mean we're in a rich city right now so most people you will pass here they'll be speaking English so you'll meet the world here like I say If you're in Munich, when it comes to crossing the road, better be careful with jaywalking. If police, police can be in civilian sometimes, they can stop you and you will pay a fine. So, well, you must know how it works. But I would have, I could have done it if I wanted, but not recommending. So, yeah, like I say, if you jaywalk, you get caught. This is the this is a very strict state, so you should never be caught jaywalking or, or something. Civilian cops will be around the corner. Let's walk here. As you see, something's going on. People are having drinks. If you come to Munich, you must drink beer. It's a beer city. So if you're in Munich and you never drink beer, then you're the biggest loser ever. It's a beer drinking city. There's one city we, where we were in Würzburg. Yeah, there you can have wine. It's a wine city in Northern Bavaria. Yeah, and here, is the beer it's the beer city and like we said last time with its manufacture and everything else just check out the other vlog yep as you see now the light was green so we just walked over a green light so but if there's no one I mean let's not talk about jaywalking now it's also not good you must walk over green Pianaco, ah, oh, Pianacotec, Pianacotec, yeah, sometimes hard to read some words. Anyone watching this video, explain to me what a Pianacotec is. Because one is where I'm walking to, towards two, it's an old Pianacotec, and this one is a new one. So please explain me in the comments what it is. I also have to learn something. Maybe someone's from Munich. Please write it down below, give the video a like, and yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel to Neoni tour moving around Germany for now I don't know where else we'll be moving around in future or maybe not so this is the old Pianaco Pianaco tech sorry the old one 
so there's some green in front of it yeah we're discovering new things always explore Munich is pretty big actually so there's a lot I should come here quite often any cities you want me to go to leave in the comments below one viewer said I should come to Dusseldorf and the other one I guess Mannheim I'm not sure one day by chance I'll come there I'll be remembering I'm remembering the fans so yeah let's keep going and I'll keep showing yup so as we go a little something like this so if you ever wanted to come go to Egypt and you're living in Germany not necessary there is a Egyptian art museum right where I'm pointing the camera let's just walk a little round well why go to Egypt when you can just as well just come here but of course there are no pyramids you will basically go to Egypt to see the pyramids 